Good afternoon and welcome to the workshop. We're not staying here today, we're taking a day trip to the Brighton Toy Museum. And before you switch off, just know that it's renowned for having lots of amazing vintage live steam and clockwork and electric trains from the 1920s and 1930s. I think it's pretty amazing. So let's go. On the way out, I saw this cool poster showing how the H2 Atlantic being built at Brighton Works. And this picture showing what Brighton Station looked like originally. In that same position now. Now, in that archway, if we follow it down, we'll find the Brighton Toy and Model Museum. This is just one of the cabinets in one of the many rooms it occupies. And as you can see, it's pretty stuffed full. Pride of place is this three-inch scale Aveling Porter traction engine, which looks great. Some slightly weirder stuff here. This looks like a live steam train set, a five-inch gauge Sterling single. Sorry about the reflections. Now the same model, more or less, in gauge 3 or 2.5 inch gauge. It's a 420 instead of a 222. Another gauge 3 locomotive by Bing. Another one over there, and that's gauge 2. There's an O gauge. And an awesome 464 Baltic tank Stevenson and a London Brighton i3. It's a gauge one Bassett Loke, great central locomotive, some carriages, looks pretty cool, and a London Southwestern 044T. This is a really cool little electric uh, third rail system. And uh, yeah, Epsom West. It's hardly King's Cross, is it? And yet another H1 Atlantic, this time at Victoria, H2 on the right hand side there some Hornby Double-O, like an awesome set here. I would definitely want one of those for Christmas. Now this shows you the scales. Right at the top here, we have gauge three or two and a half inch gauge. In the middle, gauge two and gauge one and then O gauge. I took a few still photos of this area, so I thought I'd just show these here one by one. It's just absolutely beautiful, and if you can find a way down to Brighton to look in here, it's absolutely fantastic, especially if you're a fan of this old-school tin plate, clockwork, live steam toys. It's just wonderful. On the way out, I was quite struck by how large this Oliver Cromwell was. It's a five-inch gauge Britannia, and it was great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're now going to be heading back to sunny Haywards Heath, and I will catch you next time.